Hey guys, so I've been seeing um, reverse dips recently and the most beautiful flowers. I looked at a few videos um, while I was on vacation and Fiona's art channel, she has such freaking beautiful flowers that she creates. And then I saw another one. I was inspired by this dark reddish flower on a black background. I don't think it's her that did it though, but I'm sorry if I can't remember the person's name. But yeah, um, I'm interested in this technique. So I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try experimenting a bit with it. And if, if I can get the hang of it, I'm pretty um, persistent. <laughs> I might like try until I get it. So I'm gonna do it Melly D style, of course. I'm gonna have my artist loft um, background here. This is just the artist loft flow acrylic. And I fill the whole thing up. By the way, these are the Arteza paints. I'm experimenting with them until I finish all my little pouches. Now I have an idea. I know this seems random. And there is a lot of paint there. Yes, this is the cloud mix, people. how powerful it is okay so now for the hard part the scary part is this too wet I don't know here I'll let the paper soak it up a bit It looks so cool. I hope I won't ruin it. <sighs> Do you feel the excitement? I'm on my uh, my kitchen counter, and uh, you guys, I have to admit. I just failed the painting and I was literally like right next to the sink. <laughs> so it went really well to like rinse everything off. Oh my God. I feel like blowing on it. Should I use a straw? No.
the cloud mix is doing its thing and I have to admit I did good I find by sort of twisting it there because it created that like center again, except this time with a dried one. I find it looks cool like that. now boom All right, you guys, so this is not a Fiona's art beautiful um, flower <laughs> at all, but it is totally a Melly D style cloudish flower. Super dark and luscious. I have to admit, I did learn a lot from this first experiment. Um, I'm not sure if the water helped or didn't help, but I am sure that the fact that I had a lot of paint on there when I used uh, the paper towel without water, I removed a lot of paint, so that maybe helped. It looks like a pinwheel. It looks like a, I don't know, <laughs> a goth pinwheel, like cloudy style. And as always, the cloud mix reacts like crazy, so. But I'm liking it. I'm liking the foggish area. And then, like, where you can see 
and the lines are super defined. It's definitely interesting. And I really feel like experimenting again. So, yep, I'm gonna try this again, you guys. Stay tuned for the dried result. And let's see how dark this will dry. I'm back with the dried result, you guys. This is awesome. The Arteza paints are excellent. They dry really well. The colors stay. It doesn't darken so much. I am impressed and I want more. And it sort of look. I did not varnish it yet. And it looks sort of glossy. Maybe it's the pouring medium, but I, did, I don't use that much. Loving the overall look. And I turned it around in different directions and it didn't work. It's really the way I poured it, the way I saw it, that uh, I'll hang it up this way. It's pretty small, but I have plenty of bigger canvases and so many ideas. I really want to try this again. And seeing how it reacted, I'm wondering how the Arteza paints would react in a normal cloud pour. You know, if they would keep their color or how they would dry. So um, that's what I'll be experimenting with. Maybe a cloud pour too. And uh, these flowers are super cool. Hope you guys like this. So cool. Have a good one.